Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter Season 3. Uh, today we're going to do um, the uh, fusion uh, energy cell thing uh, in this ship. And uh, we're behind the waterfall. Oh, I thought I saw something hanging off the waterfall. I've had a few meteor showers and uh, I haven't shut the game off since then. And so they're going kind of crazy. Uh, so... I did put the fusion energy cells in the other ships. I wish I could just like grab the map and move it. Um, so I got, ah, there's another rocket coming in. I got that one and I got uh, that one and uh, wherever the other one is that I got. Uh, this one will be uh, returning to uh, because they've added a new room and uh they all had the um the new case in them the new big case in them so we'll see about that and we're gonna be careful about this because they've added stuff uh to the shelves so i wanted to just walk around and see that i didn't miss anything uh else and uh, the fusion energy cell opens uh, rooms up in these uh, up these spiral staircases. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and uh, check the ship out. May let's go this way first. Uh, make sure that we haven't missed anything else. Right off the top of my head, I have to say that there is a. Um, there is a false wall in one of these ships and I missed it this time. I got it last season, but this time I missed it. All right, let's uh, step over here and just take a look around. I think I we did a pretty good job on this ship the first time. There's a couple of things here and there, uh, but we did a pretty good job. Oh, I just cannot remember is where that which ship it was that had that so uh this ship the one next to the waterfall takes three uh fusion energy cells and uh, once that goes around it's locked so you don't really have time uh to goof off and go run and grab something and then take your cell back you don't have time for that and cells are pretty cheap anyway oops i didn't mean to do that you know i've been doing that lately hitting the f instead of the d uh, at any rate, we'll just take a quick look. I wanted to go to the back of the ship and make sure that nothing new was added in the back of the ship. Thus my first trip, and there's the uh, front of the ship. Okay. Alright, let's go upstairs. Oh, I've got to get all this out of here. It makes me crazy. I'm just going to drop it on the floor, though, for right now. Probably makes some of you crazy that I do that. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Alright, let's check. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. There's a couple of those that I missed. Uh, oops. The opposite of the thing I needed to do there. Uh, so, um, it's a good thing that we did hold off <clears throat> on these fusion cells because there's new stuff in some of these. Um, new, I'm going to come back for that. Those I'm overflowing on all of those things. Um, and one of those new things is this little alcove that uh, didn't used to be here. And it contains uh, this, if I can open it. Uh, there we go. All right, we got a ton of these fuses in the other ships, and that's uh, why I wanted to share this one with you. All right, let's see. Uh, our current Terra token count from the other ships is 44,850, and we're going to be able to buy a bunch of stuff. Oh, there was a 5,000 in there. I am going to take the Osmium Rod. All right. That's perfect. Okay. Let's see, that was less than half, so let's see if we can do the same thing. Only grabbing expensive stuff. Here we go. 
Hello. This one should be the smaller of the two uh, because uh, this this one here, uh, there the other one has the big chest in it. So let's check the shelves. Make sure that these didn't get loaded. And when we go to the back to the other ship, I'll show you what I mean about the shelves being loaded up if I can remember to. Okay. Open. Oh, dear Lord, look at them all. What do I want? Food? Uh, wow. Okay, I have all of that stuff absolutely overflowing to the max. And I'm going to dump these two pieces of iron right here. That one and that one. There's another 100 and another 500. Definitely taking osmium and super alloy rods. In fact, can I build a teleporter now? Not quite. I'd need to go over to the osmium cave to do that. All right, so we got those. Okay. Good deal. I was hoping that would go quickly. And I wouldn't have to, like work it all out for myself. <laughs> that last little bit was a little bit dark. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's go back over to the house. And uh, also, oh, maybe we'll stop at the rockets on the way and see uh, if we can buy almost everything that we wanted. All of the production fuses and energy fuses and all of that, I've got a ton of them. So uh, we don't need to buy those. Just taking a shower. Don't mind me. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything in there now. Other than this stuff that we left behind. Which was most of it, because it's so weird that that the stuff in the uh, waterfall cave it's so weird that that comes to or uh, it's like a set of two uh, for all of that all right what do we got going on here uh, that's gonna go up soon thank you for explaining why I have multiple rockets full of stuff I I do appreciate that I think that was your carab that explained that uh, pretty darn good and the priority it's not that the priority system isn't working it's that when this one launches um, it's gone for 10 minutes and the other two start to fill up and they they end up at some point they end up all gone at the same time so this should have nothing in it because we should still be well um, ahead of the mark there all right, so we need, we have 53,000 uh, living compartment with dome. Yes, we will take that. Uh, that is half of it. Uh, I don't think I need that one. I don't care about drone T2 or the three by three. Let's get this one because it goes underneath that one, right? Can we afford both of those? I think so, that's 40. That leaves us 13,000. So let's go get our trees. Um, we'll get two. Two of those would be 7,000, I think. And, and let me see if there are any fuses I didn't get. Uh, so there's, uh, we don't need heat, but plants might be nice. I have on me three production fuses. Okay, so you're gonna hold on to that while I whip home and go look at the rest. Let's see if we get a plants fuse because uh, uh, someone else mentioned about putting a plants fuse in with the oxygen fuse. The uh, oxygen fuse, of course, we could build a whole second uh, uh, generator thingy. What are they called? Uh, machine optimizer. All right, so uh, all of the fuses together are these here. So we got energy, production, energy. They're all production and energy. None of them are oxygen or plants, which is just fine. So we will go get... Oh, why do I always go out the wrong door? So we'll get plants. And uh, that'll be fun. 
we're not going to have um, a huge dump of Terra tokens like that again, like we got from all of the the ships. Um, but it's still going to be, you know, pretty cool. So it's 49, that's 52,000 for two of them. And I don't need two of them. Uh, we do need furniture. I don't remember if I got the cooking station. Uh, oh, look. Uh, okay, I think it's actually down here. But we, I don't see it there. So no cooking station. So let's grab that. Oh, we need the cocoa and the wheat. And the cooking station. And smart fabric. How are we doing? We still got stuff. Custom sofas. Custom bed. 52000 I think that's a better expenditure of all of that. Uh, and we got one plants one. So... That is going to be a huge, huge thing. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get a kick out of that. All right. Uh, I wanted to go show you the other ship. Uh, they've made little changes to most of the ships uh, because they added the little alcove or little room with the big chest in it, which I thought was really um, a cool thing to do. Everything is full. Let's run some fusion cells. So we've got osmium, or uh, excuse me, obsidian and osmium, and the only other ingredient is pulsar quartz. Here we go, fusion cells. Run away with it, buddy. That's everything. All right. Uh, rockets are full. We'll put them in the bioplastic. Uh, we got room for that. Room for that. And uh, the special one for just rods, where did you go? Um, I'm a looking. I'm a looking. Uh, nope, that's those rods. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's right, I moved osmium over here so that it was closer. And look at that. I, I, I just, yeah, all right. Let's go to the other ship before I forget to. And before I start running into plants and everything. So we will go to Super Alloy. Uh, oh, I have to like look closer. Super Alloy, there we go. I have so many teleporters that I have a hard time reading it. All right, so Super Alloy is full. All of my things are full. So for years and years, I mean, we haven't had the game for years and years, but for three years, we've been trying to look inside this room up here because it's super cool. There's a bunch of new plants and flowers and things down there, by the way, and a new frog, or, well, I don't know if that's a new frog, but there's a frog thing down there. I don't remember being there. All right, so now there's a vine that comes up through the ship. And you can climb it, and now we're on the bridge. Look at that. It's super duper. It's really nice. It's like uh, the bridge of a galactic uh, interstellar, uh, you know, anyway, a cruise ship. All right, so we come in here, and we have this. I don't think that there's any way to get through any of that. And no false walls, I'd be getting the uh, destructo thing to come up right there. So we just have this, and I've taken the expensive stuff out and brought it home because I wanted to use it. And uh, that leaves this stuff, and I do not have room for any of those things right now, but I did leave a chip behind. But I just wanted to show you this. It's really nice. It's got the new uh, light up pretty keyboards. Oh, I didn't notice the little red tanks before. <laughs> All right, uh, where's the broken window at? Let me out of this place. Here we go. Uh-oh, excuse me. That was a close one. <laughs> All righty. Uh, did I take you... I don't think I did show you the 
um, uh, underneath, uh, which way is it? I actually don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn the light on. Hope oh, I try not to get too close to any of the walls. Okay, here you go. There's seeds on the floor. There was one rocket on the floor and I left uh, all of that stuff and all of that stuff in there from our first trip through. And let's see here, we'll, um, yeah, I did that. Oh, there's actually seeds on these shelves too. Okay. <laughs> all right, and the other room, I'm concentrating, can you tell? <laughs> heavy, heavy, deep concentration. Uh, this is the uh, room that opens with the thing. So that I've left those rods. And I just wanted to actually, this I'm making a videotape note. Oh, and check this out. These things glow. And they did it before I put in the actual fusion cells. So yeah, that glows and the seed things glow. And speaking of seed things, that tree seed that we got last week, that's not the special one that there's only two of. I don't know what I was thinking. There's some seeds in there. Try not to blind anybody. And those were already there. All right. And here is, so when you uh, put in the fusion key, you get this room. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. And yeah, that's fine. I know there's obsidian in there. I've got an obsidian drill. And uh, there's the actual fusion room. So you get the two rooms on the other side in this room. And this room has been added. And you can tell because the decking is updated and it's got this huge thing in here, which I took, uh, there was, uh, I took a picture of it. There was um, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11 Terra token packets. And uh, that's how I got so many Terra tokens. Um, did I not spend the Terra tokens? Did I launch that sh that thing without the Terra tokens spent? Good grief! I'll have to go work that out. <laughs> Can I just leave? Uh, yes, I know I'm thirsty. Uh, maybe, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Let's grab some super alloy because I think that uh, I might uh, be out of aluminum at the base. It stopped making super alloy, so we'll grab some. We might have to leave it downstairs somewhere, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Come by and check this all out. It's got these pretty cool things. They're really, really nice. I love that color combination. Yeah, so a whole, like, little oasis here. I might have... I feel like I missed a ship. I might have. And, um... Perhaps I did. Alright. Now, we won't know why that money didn't spend. I, I think maybe something went wrong there. Uh, yeah, we'll put that in there. All right, so that is full, and they need, oops, they need three pulsar quartz each, so we'll put that on pulsar quartz, and it probably won't get very far, because I haven't cleared the drills. It's obviously making some pulsar quartz, but uh, I haven't cleared the drills. I just got super excited about that uh, new room on top of that ship and about how many Terra tokens we got. And uh, of course I wanted to shell, uh, say, uh, share, sorry, share the big ship thing with you. Uh, one of these should be coming back soon. 66 seconds. Yeah, yeah, coming back soon. All right, that is full. Oh, it did finally bring one in. All right, we need to plant more plants. That was something that I completely spaced. I'm a waiting for my ship to come in. <laughs> 36 seconds, okay. Uh, what was the other thing, frogos? We got frogs? 
Uh, generic frog eggs. Of course they're generic. And I don't think I remembered to clear out uh, the fish thing, the water life collector. I call it the fish trap. Yeah, that's all gotta go. Because I want more fishes. Uh, Lee asked why I didn't just put the door, I think it was Lee, put the door in the front. Because I wanted a landing onto the shore here. And I was actually going to make it quite a bit longer, but this rock is in the way. And then I thought, well, I could go that way towards the waterfall, but yeah, I don't know what, what changed that. All right. Back to our shippo. So I'm actually going to take this one off of auto launch as well. Turn off. Disabled. Uh, did I not? I did. There we go. Now it's spent. It's spent because the rocket's coming back. All right. So uh, fusion cells. When I saw this the other day, I read it totally wrong. It's 80 Terra tokens each, which makes it probably the best business going. But you have to make the pulsar cords. So that's no small thing, right? Uh, but we're going to uh, get ourselves a few extra Terra tokens there and maybe a few extra in each uh, in each little ship that we send off. All right, look at that. Just take our everything because we need everything. That's uh, super fantastic. The bed, cooking station, living compartment, uh, living compartment, smart fabric, which the bed and the couch are absolutely pointless without. Uh, so smart fabric, we'll learn how to make that. We got two rosea trees and the plant multiplier. So we will hop over to the plant multiplier and then uh, we'll go see if we have the ingredients for the uh, smart fabric, which I've never used before. And so don't know. Um, all right, yes, we do. We, oh, we need another oxygen. Okay, so now we got the plants multiplier in there. God, did that say 2,500%? Okay. Um, optimizer. Now, how do I tell what it's doing? Oh, I guess I could look at... Uh, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Look, We'll go look at the uh, chart. For goodness sake, I'm lost. Let me out of this tree jail. The ants have me. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. All right. Oh my gosh. The safety of the interior of my high-tech building is necessary. All right. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Let's take a look at biomass. So we got a multiplier on our plants. Uh, biomass? Biomass. There we go. So... <laughs> So now our plants, oh my good lord, look at them go. Now our plants are 9.2 million. <laughs> I don't know if, you, if we can do insects and animals like that or not. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, but someday we'll, we will know. <laughs> Alright, let's do our chips. We've got all of our chips. Uh, customizable sofa. Smart fabric, uh, the biodome in which we are going to live, and the underneath part of it, and the cooking station for our brand new customizable kitchen. And uh, there we go. <laughs> right, now then, uh, smart fabric is that made on a thing? Is it made in a thing in a machine somewhere? I don't even know. There it is right there. Oh, that's pretty, that's straightforward. The question is, how much does it take? Uh, so two smart fabrics, four for the bed. Okay, so we need six plus two and maybe two more. So we need eight. So four, five, six, seven, eight, perhaps. Eight smart fabrics total. And so that is going to be 16 fabric and 8 circuit boards. Okay, we do not have 16 fabric. Uh, we have 25. <laughs> Never mind. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34. We have 34 fabrics. Oh, it's, it's really good. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, make uh, one more fusion cell. Yeah, I think so. Before I go clear the drills, I got to clear the drills. I know. Uh, we have our trees. Um, let's let's do that. Uh, oops. Um, uh, two was it for the couch? Two smart fabric for the couch. Okay. And uh, we've got a a huge number. <laughs> we have a huge number of circuits. It's ridiculous. I I've actually not made circuits yet. Uh, okay, couch. So two smart fabrics, which we have right there, and one super alloy. Uh, yes, yes, gotta clear the drills. Gotta get that done. Oh, I forgot to clear the super alloy drill while we were there. <laughs> Front door, please. Alright, we're just gonna put a couch downstairs and then we'll put in the big buildings. I'm not even sure I'm ready for the big buildings. So. I was gonna put one, two, three. Yeah, I got enough of these. So we'll put the the domeless round part on the bottom, and then we'll put the dome on top. How's that sound? And we can make more than one, I think. All right, let's make a couch. Let's make a couch. Um, well, the fish tank is too big, isn't it? How about out here, like a waiting room couch? So we'll grab this. And we'll turn it around so that it's facing us. And as far as I can remember, you place it and then you interact with it. And so, oh boy, so there's the, the gray scale and there's this, this scale. Oh, pastels are nice. And then of course color. Oh, oh I like that. Ooh, ooh, it gets better. <laughs> This is like when I was trying to create the paint for my bedroom walls. Oh, that's really nice. We can change that, of course. That is a really nice color. I like that a lot. <laughs> we can do that with our bed, too. We can't do that with these round couches, though. And so we're going to have our office with the round couches uh, just set up. Uh, I think I got all of that. Yeah. Uh, we have another rocket to set up. What was that? Both food and water? Oh, dear God. Wow, that just... Ma when you come right out the door, it just matches the aquarium so well. Just at a glance. It's not the same color. It's a complementing color. All right. Let's go see if we can grab some food. Or if we're going to have to steal it out of... <laughs> One of the oh, I've locked them. Good, because I'm hungry. <laughs> there we go. We'll take those two. We'll enable that. Uh, we that one is still enabled, and we will have to take one out, enable, and put one back. There we go. Nice. That's a lot of money coming in. Oh my gosh, look at the time! Oh, I forgot what I was going to do just now. Rockets! Which rockets are we missing? Do I have a rocket screen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, rocket screen. There we go. We need a microchip compass, an osmium, and a silicon. And you know what, you guys? I am not going to look for the compass that I made by accident. Oh, what's this? Here, up there. Well, stop the presses. <laughs> I brought myself this way. Now I'm going to have to climb the mountain this way. <laughs> Can I get up there? I got up there last time it hit up there. Yes! Yes, I can get up there. Okay, what was the point of this? 
Boing, boing, boing. What was the point of this meteor? Was it not the... Uh, oh, there they are. Okay, they're all down here. <laughs> all right. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I think the game knows that it's just given me a huge number of terror tokens. Okay, that was six terror tokens. Uh, give me that and that. Just in case these disappear. I don't know if they do. Alright, so that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Four. There we go. And another 100. <laughs> How many is that? 7,600. I got these, right? And now we've got, what is this, osmium? Is this osmium? You get someplace semi-safe. Inside the fabric of the rock is not safe. I don't know where that other chest went. That's okay. <laughs> I also don't want to get killed by this. Whatever this is, it's landing in the crater. Oh dear. Alright, let's see if there's a chest up here. Oh boy, here comes another one. It's probably going to hit me right in the head. <laughs> Oh, it just missed me. Flew right over the top of the cliff. I don't see any other uh, boxes, so I'm going to say maybe that was a four boxer. I've heard they exist. I've never had one. I think we're going to run over. <laughs> I say that as we're two minutes over. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it is, in fact, osmium. It is. There we go. Alright, I'm not worried about picking up osmium. Uh, rock kit. We need a microchip. A microchip compass. Oh my gosh, that was funny. That's just for the map. Um, yeah, that's all we need, right? Is the map. We don't need a rocket to tell us where the rockets are. We just need a map to tell us where the rockets are. And it's messy. There's a, there's a lot of rockets up there. All right, microchip compass. There we go. Uh, silicon, uh, magnesium, and aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Looks like everything we need is in that... Oh, wait a minute. Let's take the silicone. <laughs> everything we need is in that one box. <laughs> Had to make some changes to that plan. There we go. And uh, what was the rest of that map? Um, everything we need I have in my hands. Off to the office. <laughs> Run out of time. It's super late at night. <laughs> It's way later than I usually record. I'll put it that way. It's not late at night. For me, it's just the beginning of the day. Now it's more green than anything. All right, I'm all right with that. <laughs> uh, here we go. Your job. Where's my newest employee? Oh, for God's sake, he's gone already. There we go. <laughs> One GPS four, 11 plants, 16 magnetic field protectors, six asteroids and uh, attraction rockets, and four seed spreaders. Not that many rockets, but that's the rockets that we have. And if I could possibly remember the point, I would share that with you. We are past the amphibian stage. We are, uh, we're ready for little furry creatures popping out of the ground which will one day evolve uh, into humans, probably. Or maybe more uh, wardens, I don't know. The planet seems to evolve wardens. <laughs> All right, there we go, 9.2 million on plants, 
absolute insanity, 32 million oxygen, 1.2 million heat. Am I reading that wrong? No, 22 million pressure. <laughs> I think I'm reading that wrong. There's three numbers, the 2.2 million. Oh, thank goodness, because that would be stupid amounts. Nine, uh, where are we at? 9.2 million in biomass total. Most of that is our plants there. 9.2 million. All right, you guys, uh, next time when we come back, we are definitely going to be building new parts on the base. Uh, we need those things and we need those things. And uh, yeah, we're going to be checking out those buildings for the first time on my channel. So thank you all so much for coming along. Oh, and two trees. Also, we're going to be planting two trees. So thank you so much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.